Caleb. Bend over and cough. <laughs> What are we doing today, Mad Martin? We are reinstalling a Wagons West beam. It, uh, it got new needle bearings and some new Delrin uh, little inserts on the inside to stop it from squeaking. And so we're just putting a beam back in to lower the car back down and get it to drive again. Do you remember in previous episodes, yeah. the, squeak. the old, uh, what is this squeak noise? <laughs> well, we've discovered the... Uh... <laughs> Did you get this on tape? Put your light on it and see those little black things right there? That's, those were urethane before. I see the urethane is further down. Just knocked them down, yeah. The urethane was swelling in the Texas humidity, and so it wasn't working. And uh, yeah, now it's fixed, hopefully. So explain to the camera guys, what are we doing that's going to make this work? So what, what we're doing is we read, we, we knew that, uh, so the easiest way to get it past the adjuster is to have two guides. And so basically okay. what you do is... But, but let's back up just a second. You've got to always make sure that you have your spots ready for your yeah. your center adjuster on this. And then your grub screw is going on your uh, arms. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so what we're doing is you take the last two... The two outside the two ones. Two outside ones. And you push them about two inches and four inches. Yeah, about four. I maybe mean, Martin. That's good Pull enough. Yeah. And I, I'm holding. You just push. Okay. So I get a shot. So see how, you, see how those are... Off center, off like that. Oh, yeah. This one's gonna go in first, then this one's gonna hit, and it should align. And look down in that hole real quick, see if you can see what we're trying to lock it into. Uh, I'm trying there you to go. Way down in there, you can see that little. It only goes in thing. one way. Yeah. So you get. So you kind of stagger it. So now we're yep. almost the adjuster. We're to the adjuster. Hit a second one. You're off. You need to go this way. There you go. Yeah. So you're trying to keep them together when you do this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Don't go too far because you already want this one to be shorter than the other one. Okay. It's one. It's two. Nope. These are in. See? That one's in. That one's in. Okay, they should all go. We just got to wiggle it. There it goes. There it is. Oh, that Boom! That was so hot. That's the way to do it. All right, so the beam is all together. Yeah, so what we're doing now is we're going in and uh, getting the adjusters preset, preloading the adjusters. Is there 22 on the ground that we had out? So this adjuster uh, determines your ride height, right? Yes. Gives you, I think, one or two inches or something. I'll forget. I'll No. Look. Hey, when you're up under this thing, instead of grabbing like this, this is thing. terrible. This is why after four hours, this is as much as we got done. And there's another. One. <laughs> there's two back, of them. Back up. In case one breaks. The bearded wonder. Also, aka primitive Pete. Well, there's a reason why he's Mad Martin. <laughs> so this is if this, you look this at is it, the, this is the adjustable beam. Everybody so gets. Your arms on there. Yeah. You adjust your adjuster and see you're just touching, changing the pitch yeah. uh, move your of the arm. Because normal... See where the grub moves? You're just moving the... Yeah. Now you're moving so the end flight. Normal Volkswagens just have a grub screw here. They don't have all this little... See these little notches and fanciness? So that's just... It just changes the pitch. So as you turn it one way or the other, the front wheels go up Raise or up down. or down, yeah. yeah. Let's just hope I got it right. We'll put, the, we'll put it all we'll together. We'll find out. It might be, the, or it might be a four-wheel drive bay. <laughs> Look like it's pulling a wheelie. <laughs> So I had a pair of uh, boots when I used to go, uh, you know, skanking dun, dun, and into the mosh pits back in the old days. See, and uh, um, and they were steel toe boots. I found them at a, like a re at, like a thrift shop or something. But they were in there for a reason. This toe, somebody, they had actually been crushed. The toe, they were very uncomfortable because the the steel plate was hitting uh, my toe. Why'd you wear them? Well, they, they because. But well, you said they were uncomfortable. Well, they, uh, yeah, but I'm tough. No <laughs> cable. Watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> Where does this come out? Let me think. Do we have the bolts and stuff? You want me to get under there? They should be right, right there here. next to you. I got four bolts. Do I just need to get under there and bench press it? Yeah. No, you just get the jacket. So, so we need the jack? Or bench press it. It's not that heavy, Jack. It'd be easier for you to bench press it. I agree. Need to go. <laughs> Still a way to go up. <laughs> We're not going up in the same position, that's why. Okay, hold right there. Hold. <laughs> I need a 19th ratchet. I can't turn this one here. Yeah. Okay. All four? No. Loose two. Am I done? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're done. 
Hey man, Jackson, help me up. Good job, AJ. Can you give me a rubber hammer? Uh, yeah. Do you have all four bolts in? No. Oh, I I won't snug up then. So that's your ball joint there. That's the part that always needs to be uh swapped out on these. So, and that sits down in that. Oh, it's actually like like cool. this on me. See? Good God, where'd you get that one? My dad had tractors. He had a big one. Holy moly. I can torque down back axles. This I do them at 250. No way. Yeah. With this? Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, when you do back axles with it, you're like this. You get into it, you're like, brrr, brrr, like click, click, and it's done. Uh, we're all, we're gonna torque this to 80 with Martin's giant. It just does not seem like, cause even when they, we tightened them down before, they would like, they came. All right, so uh, Martin, you're putting on new seals before yeah. the arms go in, right? Yeah, these are the seals that go right there. They actually go on the arms, but that's where they go. So we're going to throw the seals on and then stick the trailing arms on. Yes. Center pin done. Okay. And then uh, drag link done. And then Gary, you're under here. We got that center pin in. Center pin in. You always want to make sure that you push this up. You know, that's got to kind of cut out on that center pin and you don't want to tear the threads up on your bolt these bolts are kind of hard to come by nowadays drag links gone good parking brakes on uh, shift rod is good put the spindles on and uh, we're good the uh, steering dampeners on so yeah hook up the tie rods let's go where are we gonna eat mm, I think we should break to lunch at Cabo Bob's okay. I need that BFH. Need a BFH, Jake. BFH. Yeah. He has it. Hit it once or twice. Oh, that went in some. I think oh, you're yeah. good. Angle of the. The dangle. How am I looking? You're keep doing it. Keep coming. One more. Probably two more pumps and we're good. One more, we should be there. Here, here. 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 Uh, half the pump. Just go a little bit. Golly. You got to move the bottom ball joint. Oh, duh. All right, come okay. down slow, Jake. Easy. Coming down easy. All right, are we, are we lined up good? Yeah, I think it's pretty tight up in there anyway. Good, good yeah. job. Yeah, it's quick. It'll see. Okay. Clear? Yeah, yep. put it down. It'll cinch in there. It will? Yeah, it'll seat it. See the arm down. Uh, the arms, the arms down. This loose. You see it bouncing. So okay. just start putting the bolts on. And it. All right. Now the brakes are going back on. Good job, boys. I don't think I'm doing this right. Uh, we don't have to undo that up there. So we we'll still do it here, and then we can spin it on from here. So we don't have enough of that. Uh, yeah. We can leave any time we want, right? Yep. You know what? That's exactly what I say. You know what I say about working on old Volkswagens. 
love them. Yeah. So much fun. We do this because we love the bearded wonder so much. Oh my gosh, turn on the fan. That's unbelievable the difference here. The straw boss over there, see? He <laughs> told me I gotta come in here and press the brake button, see? I gotta press the brake pedal down when Martin says pump, see? Is it pump, pump, hold? Pump, pump, hold, pump, pump, hold. Bleeding brakes. All right, pump away. Pump Go here. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there's some air coming out. Okay, hold. Okay, where are you? That sounds pretty good. What do you got? Okay. <laughs> Placing your beam is one of the most overlooked things that people do. Yeah, I think part of the... Okay, it's, it's coming out. Oh yeah, I'm squirting. Yeah, I feel it. It's not leaking. Yeah, I think just the general lube and... I guess you could put too much and then it just starts oozing out, which it just oh, did yeah. just now. We're good. Do that again! Now here's the key. Is it we jump it's on? a miracle! Oh, here we go. Ooh. Wait, do that again. Do it again, wait. Do it again. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Try to turn this off. Hey, this sounds not on mute. God. What's that? Oh. The drain, man. I tried to move it, but are we gonna drive this, Gary? Heck yeah! Boy, this has been an entertaining episode. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit that like button right now. That is a fact. And hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. Oh yeah, that way it rings for you. Uh, I think this is a Gene Burger. Gene Burger. Oh, it feels good. All right, Martin, it's fire like, it up. It's like world. The battery connected? Yeah. Here it is. The moment of truth. The uh, no more squeaky 68. So many trials and tribulations. Hmm. Oh, that sounded weak. That electric fuel pump will get it going quick. Type two over here. Yeah. And then there's a one right there. There's one there. There's one there. Oh, Matt, Matt Jackson, there's one here. There's one here. And then Matt Jackson, look over there across the street. There's two more. Oh, look at those. One of those looks is shaped funny. It's only got half yeah. a bus. It, I, it. We did it. The Bearded Wonders bus is done. It's no amazing. More squeaks. No more squeaks. It shifts. It doesn't pop out of gear. It stops on its own. It is like it's it's just like it's a working vehicle it is yeah. it's it's you know what i'm calling it the august miracle it is <laughs> and we have another little uh project over here oh yeah a little 71 named jesco martin's got a lot of buses a lot of, he's got a lot of projects yep. i think i seem to recall a 65 beetle too yeah that yeah. video that i'll put a link right here yeah that's kind of he's gonna be a busy boy oh wait a minute we're the ones that are busy how's that work i don't know the goal is you just don't work on your cars and everybody gets tired of not running and then they're like well let's come to your house and work on your car i know because we want to see you driving a volkswagen labor. not a scion it's an exciting day it is and it we is. appreciate you guys watching today yes thank you guys for joining us on vw life make sure that you tell your aunts tell your uncles tell everybody you know about volkswagen life we appreciate you guys coming to VW Life and, uh, and and hanging out in the Volkswagen community with us. It's a lot of fun, and uh, we made uh, we made a lot of headway today. I'm happy. 
Yep, me too. Yep, it's a good day. Stay tuned for more and go out there and work on your Volkswagen. Yep, even if it's 102 degrees. Oh, is it 102 degrees? <laughs>